What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are in Vegas, I'm ready to go to WPPI, and I thought I'd film a series of videos for you guys because I feel like I haven't filmed some in a while, going through a little transition here, and um, I'm excited to kind of pop back into it with a little inspiration happening right now. And really, we haven't talked about this in a while, but it's February and I wanted to do this in January, so I wanna do a little reflection on my career and kind of let you guys know where I'm at with everything. So let's talk about it right now. What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My feet are falling asleep from filming some videos, so I decided to get a little comfy with you today. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If this video helps you anyway, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. It'll tell you every time I come on. Ugh, let's adjust. Let's adjust. So guys, um, I have been a photographer for 12 years now, and I freaking love it. Um, as you know, when I first started, it wasn't meant to be a career. I just bought a camera, wanted to shoot my daughter's birth, and then kind of built up to it. Within that time, I've built a community-based studio, I've closed a community-based studio, and I'm one of the premier photographers in Reno, and I don't take that lightly, and I actually feel a little icky saying that every time. Um, but I built my brand based off of my name and what I do, and it's been really, really cool. Um, I do wanna thank you guys. Thank everybody for the support. Thank everybody for following me, for hiring me, for giving me your money, for trusting me with your weddings, with your family shots, with your newborns, with maternity. Um, I shoot portraits, I shoot people, and that's kind of the biggest thing. Um, I can't shoot landscapes, I can't shoot buildings, um, but I prefer the interaction with people. I love doing headshots, I love making people laugh, and I love showing people that they don't need to be static or they don't need to be afraid of getting their photo taken. Uh, it's been a great career so far. And I'm 12 years in, I don't anticipate stopping. I don't know what I would do if I stopped. In fact, somebody asked me the other day, like, hey, what would you do if you weren't a photographer? Or what if you had to change right now? And I have no idea what I would do because I've never thought of that. But I feel like I'm in a, in a transition in my career right now with the closing of the studio of Hatch. Um, now I'm renting studios based from other people and I'm now focusing more on the travel world, right? As the kids get a little bit older, I want to start traveling more. I want to start shooting on locations more, different places around the world and using my photography to go there. And yes, I've done a few. I travel a few times throughout the year where I get to go out of the country and, and shoot and do some amazing stuff, but I want to get more of that going. So I have to figure out a way to make that happen. Um, cause I'm a commercial photographer first most. That's what you guys are going to see more of me doing where I shoot for a lot of companies and I shoot for business and advertising. And so being able to go and let's say, I don't know, Paris takes me out there and I get to shoot a campaign for Nike in front of the Eiffel Tower. Like that's the stuff that I want to do. Although I still love, love, love shooting weddings, which I actually didn't think I was going to still love at this point. And the reason I still love shooting weddings is because of the clients that I'm booking. Um, the only reason that my weddings become what they become is because I actually care about the clients that I'm shooting. I actually care about the people that I'm shooting. It's not just somebody that's hiring me because, hey, I heard you're Jeremy Liu. I heard you're a really good photographer. We want to spend our money on the best. Let's do it. I actually hate that. I, I hate that because I want you to look at my work. I want you to know me, who I am, because if I'm investing all this time in shooting your wedding, um, I want to make sure that we have like a friendship kind of built. And I know that's asking a lot. I'm like, I understand that some people are like, just take their money, bro, and shoot their wedding and be cool about it. But that's not how I feel a sustainable business is going to be in the future. A ton of my referrals come from past brides, come from other vendors. And that can only happen if they trust me. Do a little social experiment and just walk up to any random person or friends that you know or whatever. Maybe you haven't known them for a long time because it won't work. But just ask them, hey, who shot your wedding? And if you're a wedding photographer, please ask these questions. Like somebody said, yeah, we got married five years ago. Oh, cool, who shot your wedding? And see how many people actually remember the name. If you ask any one of my clients, they will know my name, Jeremy Liu. Jeremy Liu shot her wedding. Oh yeah, he shot her wedding. And that's the best social experiment that I've done. Because I will ask people and they'll be like, oh my God, this person. And I'll have to be like, oh, it's a husband and wife team. And then, and then we'd have to figure out who shot their wedding. But I mean, like they paid all this money to one person. The person was all day at their wedding. 
delivered albums, delivered prints, and they don't know their name, that's crazy. So this last uh, few years is amazing. The next few years, I have no idea where I wanna go, but this video is more of, a, of what's going on in 2020, focusing a lot more on commercial work, focusing more on the YouTube videos. Since I don't have the studio anymore, I get to kind of focus on me and do what I wanna do. Um, a little bit more traveling, kids are older, Jetson's almost, excuse me, two this year. And so uh, it's great, but I wanna thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to do what I do. I never expected me to be self-employed photographer, um, doing the best that I've ever done in my entire life, making the most money I've ever made, supporting my family, house, mortgage, with a camera. I mean, a few cameras, you know. Um, so thank you. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna get ready to actually go to WPPI. I think all my videos I've said that. I'm gonna go to WPPI. Um, it starts in an hour from now. So we're gonna do that. Talk to you guys later. Bye.